Hello and uh, welcome to this exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create professional website using Duda. Now, Duda is a site where you can create professionally looking websites. And the advantages of using Duda, as you can see down here, is that you can build the website twice as fast and then you can drive conversions with speed provide unmatched security and stability, and of course you can explore infinite design and capabilities, and that's exactly what we are going to be looking at. Now, to start using Duda, you have to create an account. So if you have an account, you'll simply log in, but in this case, we assume you don't have an account, so you are going to click on start a free trial. Once you do that, it brings you to this page, where you will be required to put your details, your name and uh, your business email plus your password. So that's what you are going to do here. Then once you have put your details, you click on start. It will then send a link to your email. So you will have to go to your email to activate. So I'll check on my email and here we have an email from Duda. You click on activate now. This will take you to this page where you're supposed to fill in these details. You select the best fit, what describes you, are you a freelancer, digital web agency, or you want to integrate Duda with a SaaS solution, or are you looking to build a website for your business? So you choose one, in this case, let me select that. How many customers do you have? Let's say zero to 10. What is your experience in building a website? Then you select here what you have. In this case, I don't have experience building or designing website. I'll select that. Then I'm going to click on get started. But remember here, you can select any other. So I click on get started. And it takes me to this site. You notice we have a free trial for 14 days. So down here, I now click on create a site. It will need you to select the type of site that you want to create. Is it a portfolio, landing page, business site, lifestyle, online, or you're just browsing? In this case, let me select it's a business site. With that, Duda will bring you to this page where you notice we have the templates here selected. And we have all these templates, which are all editable. Now, depending on the business that you are dealing with, you can select one that will be easy to customize. But in this case, we are going to be starting from scratch. We just want to use a blank template. So to do that, you are going to click on create template because we don't want to use this already made template. So we want to start from scratch. So you will click on create template. Then you'll come down here and select blank. And then you can click on any here. So let's click on the first one. So here we have it. So this is a blank template. So you can give the template name. So we type here, our template will be Josh Automobiles. And then you create. So it's now creating your new template. So it takes you to this site. So we are going to close this first. So, and it takes you to this blank template where you can now edit. As you note, it is all empty. To start now creating your website, you have these options. You have themes on the top right hand side where you can now choose your colors. Let me choose colors here. So you can set the theme colors and then you can find and connect colors or you can find the colors yourself. In this case, let me find the colors myself. Then I can click on primary, then I click on add. Then let me choose red as my primary color. Then I can click on secondary colors, the one that I'll want to use. 
then I can keep on doing that with the colors that I will need. So that is how you set the themes. So if we close that and click on pages, now this is where you add the pages for your website. Now you notice, so you notice if I click on pages, it takes me to this place where we have home, work, about and contact us, which is also on this other side. So if I need to add a new page, maybe I want a page about our history, which is missing here. I'll click here, new page, and then I'll decide what type of page it is. Is it an empty page, URL and all that? And then I also have an option to select any of these. So let me select empty page. Then I can give the page name. Let me call it our history. Then I can click on add page. So if now I go back, you notice we have our history page down here. Another good thing that you may notice, maybe we may need this work to be under home or home to have work and about. So to do that, so that it can be a drop down menu, we know we want work to be under home. So we come here where we have work and we drag that slightly. So you now notice work will be under home. If we now select home there, you see we have work displayed there. So that is how you arrange those tabs. So if now I want about, our contact us to be under about, I simply drag contact us page slightly to the right and I drop it and there it is. So you notice now under the word about, we have contact us. So that is how you arrange the pages. Let us redo this. So to return that, the default, you simply drag it again to the left and you drop it. You do the same to contact us to the left and you drop it. So you now notice they are all separate again on top here. Another thing you can add is pop-ups. You click on pages, then pop-ups, then you click on new pop-up. Then you add the pop-up that you need. Is it a blank one? Is it a welcome to your YouTube channel? Is it a contact us pop-up? Is it a newsletter registration and so on? So in this case, let's add a pop-up on newsletters registration. So you are going to click on that once. And so we have the pop-up name newsletter registration you can also change that let's call it our newsletter so then you click on add pop-up so you now notice we have our pop-up here which is also editable you can edit this pop-up you can reduce it to do that you simply click on pop-up then here we have our newsletter. You click on this button. So if now I click on that, I can edit this. So it's written sign up for a mailing. Maybe call it enjoy our newsletter for free. Then I can decide the font type here, whether it will be bold whether it will be italics, whether it will be underlined, I can just decide the way I would want it to be. I can also choose the color. In this case, let me use uh, blue. Another thing you can do, you can also change this image here. You can upload your own image. You can choose the icon that you want. So in this case, if you select on choose icon, you can choose the icon that you would want here. And you notice we have quite a good number. So you have to choose an icon that is relevant. This being a newsletter, we can click on that. But still the one for the envelope was okay. So you can scroll down here. You can decide on 
any alternative text that you would want to be there and so on. So you, if you click on the star up here, if you want to change the design of the pop-up, you simply click on design on top here, then you can now change the layout of the pop-up. So if we now reduce the width, you notice what is happening to our newsletter. So we can change the height. We can change the style by clicking on style. Then we can add a border to that. So and so on. So if we click on the bigger again, we can edit that. So we can click on the border. You notice now where the border is appearing. Then we can round the corners like this. Then if we click on image, we can decide which image to put there. Then of course we can reduce the image size. Then if we click on spacing, we now get the option to resize. We can also reduce the size of the pop-up by just dragging these edges, as you can see. You just drag it. Another thing, you can just click on this word, pop-up settings, and then you will also be able to adjust the same. So that is how you work with pop-ups. So let's go back to pages. And uh, we are done with pages here. So if we want to edit the page, let's say home, you simply click on this home page and then now you get a chance to edit your page so all this is now editable so if now i click on this i can change that so i can change this image by clicking on replace so let me replace that you click on replace then you can choose the images from the ones given here but you also have the option of uploading an image. You click on upload. In this case, let me use this image that we had designed earlier using Canva. And that tutorial is also available in this YouTube channel. So I've added that on our homepage. So there it is, more of a logo. I can also edit this. I simply select that. Then I can call it maybe the name that I would want. Joshnet Tours and Travel. I can change the color. Maybe I want this to be red. I can choose that to be red. I can also change the font type. I can change the font type here. I can make it italicized or even underlined depending on what I want. The best thing you can do is simply to go to the websites of the competitors so that you are able to see how they have done it so that you also don't really copy it, but you know what sells. So I've just reduced the font size there so that it fits. So I can keep on changing here. I can add another image or I can also change the background and I can also add the text. Another thing that you can do is that you can also work with widgets. So to do that, you simply come to the left hand side and you click on add widgets then you can search the widget that you would want. Maybe in this case, click to call. If I click on that, then here it gives me that widget, which now I can edit and uh, put the phone number there. So if I click on that, it gives me that phone number. I can edit that phone number on this side. And then I can also call it the callers text button. So I can also reduce it in size and make it smaller. And there is how you add your widget. In case you make any changes that you'd want to undo, you can simply come on top here and click on undo. And that takes you back or removes the action that you had already done. So you notice now the background we had added has loaded and the colors have also changed. So you can also come down here where we have some shortcuts where you can add your social media icons. You can click on the Facebook and uh, add a link to your Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and any other that is available here. 
and you're also free to add yours. So if you click on this plus, you can add your own social media site where you can also be reached. So basically, that is how you create a nice website using Duda. I hope this video has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.